When you think of Native Americans, what picture comes to mind? One organization is trying to change the nation's perception of Indian country. Hello, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver. And with me now is Michael Roberts, president of First Nations Development Institute. Welcome. Thanks for being with us, Michael. Thanks for having me. Yeah, let's begin really with what you're trying to do. I know you're really trying to change the approach to fundraising for Indian organizations. Um, Tell me what that's all about. In many cases, when you when Indian country or organizations in Indian country go to raise money, either from the general public or from foundations, um, they often play what we call the poverty Olympics. Hmm. So they, they go out and they say, you know, talk about how poor they are, how disadvantaged they are, what's going wrong in their reservation communities. And, and our perspective is that nobody wants to fund a losing team, right? <laughs> I mean, I spent you know five years in venture capital, and there's very few times when we looked at a company and said, we're doing so poorly, you should invest in this. Yeah, and so yeah. we're trying to flip it on its head saying, you know, there's some great things going on in Indian country, and here's some positives, and why don't you guys invest in that? Right. Let's talk about the misconceptions you think mm. Americans in general have about Indians. Um, you know, there are images that come to mind um, with people thinking about Native Americans. What are those, and what are you doing to battle those? Yeah, so when you look at Indian country, there's about 565 recognized tribes in the U.S., but when you look at America's perceptions of Indians, there's usually about one, and that's the Lakota out of South Dakota. And mainly because Hollywood has, made, has kind of mythified, mythified the yeah. American Indian yeah. and it made us believe that we're all on horses and you know, live in teepees and, and are on some warpath burning wagons. From and a I think, Western From a Western. Western. Movie. I mean, jo John Wayne is you know, a very popular guy and has done some bad things for the procession of Indian country. Right. But you know, I think that you know, when we look at Indian country, we always see Indians in the past, huh. not in the contemporary society. Right. And in terms of how you're changing that, Michael, what are you really addressing either in corporate America or just generally societally to say, no, this is not what Indians are all about, or there's not one definition of Indians? Yeah. I mean, I think the, the latter is probably a little bit more accurate. Um, our, our hope is, and our, and our intent, and, and our messaging is really showing Indians doing things contemporarily. So, in, um, so we look at um, the projects that we invest in, I mean, we make grants to um, Indian country, um, we have been doing that so for 20 years, mm -hmm. um, really showing the people who are doing the work on the ground and, and accomplishing, you know, small things and sometimes big things with very little money. Right. And, and showing that this isn't, you know, rocket science to, to make a difference in Indians' lives, that, you know, small investments in their dreams or aspirations um, and they're real, very real problems. You know, Indians have the same aspirations as everybody else. They want, you know, a good job. They want healthy family. They want, you know, a good education for their kids. All those things that you and I want. And is it wrong to say that, um, you know, Indians do or do not want to get off the reservation, if you will? I mean, that is tribal land. So um, is that a misperception as well? You know, it's, it's, it's interesting. That's an interesting question because when you look at the, the Indian population, about 70% now lives off reservation in suburbs and, and cities and whatnot, right. um, mostly because that's where the economic livelihood is, not necessarily their desire to, to move away. Right. Just because when there's, when you look at reservation economies, there's very little economic activity, and that's a lot of what we're trying to change yeah. as First Nations Development Institute. Yeah, and are you seeing corporate America kind of turn around on that? Are they saying, wow, okay, let's invest in these tribes, in this uh, organization to help them, because I see them as a winning team now. Yeah, you know, I think you're starting to see corporate America come to the table when they see success. Success. Yeah. You know, when you're looking at tribes who are having success in gaming or um, real estate development or energy development, you see a lot more economic activity, a lot more willingness for corporate America to show up and, and participate. Right. I, again, it's, okay. it's, uh, everybody likes a winner. Everybody wants to invest alongside a winner. Makes sense. Where can people go for more information, Michael? You know, we have a website www.firstnations.org okay. um, and um, go there and learn. Go there and learn. All right, my friend. Thanks. Uh, Michael Roberts, president of First Nations Development Institute. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Great to see you. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Beverly Weaver.